and uh, my efforts to try to diminish the uh, United Nations influence and the taking away of our sovereignty. And this is uh, one reason why I do oppose uh, uh, NATO. Uh, I, I believe that it has a bad influence on what we do. We want to extend our control over Eastern Europe, and as been, has been pointed out, this can be seen as a threat uh, uh, to, to the Russians. And uh, the NATO does not have a good record uh, since the fall of the Soviets. Take, take a look at what we were doing in Serbia. Serbia has been our friends. They're a Christian nation, and we allied ourselves with the KLA, the Kosovo Muslims, who, are, who have been friends with Osama bin Laden. And we went in there and illegally, NATO illegally, against the own rules of NATO, incessantly bombed Serbia. They had not attacked another country. They had a civil war going on. And yet, we supported that with our money and our bombs and our troops, and now we're nation-building over there, and we may be over there for another 20 years because of the bad policy of NATO that we went along with. And I think we should stop and think about this and said, instead of expanding NATO, instead of getting ready to send another $55 million that we're authorizing today to the Eastern European countries, we ought to ask, has it really served the interests of the United States? And now that's old-fashioned to talk about the interests of the United States. We're supposed to only talk about the interests of internationalism, globalism, one world government. And to talk about the interests of the United States in this city is seen as being very negative. I would say if you talk about U.S. security in the United States of America and our own defense around the country, it's very popular. Thank you. Time of the gentleman.